Okay, so let us start a new chapter today. It is called Alternating Current. No electromagnetic waves are there. Okay. Right. So alternating current. In our previous chapter, eh, in which uh, which chapter it was previous electromagnetic induction. Okay. So we studied in our previous chapter, which is electromagnetic induction. Electromagnetic induction. So in that chapter, in that chapter what we studied? We studied that how it used the EMF is being set up in a coil when there is a rate of change of time. When time, when current is varying, sorry, when current is varying, okay, with respect to time. Or the flux is changing, when there is a change in flux, rate of change of flux at that time, how an induced EMF is being set up in the coil. Okay, so we already uh, saw that how that induced EMF is there and magnetic flux which was V A V A A cos and cos theta. Right, it was the dot product of magnetic field V and area vector and cos theta angle between them. So this was the magnetic flux. Yes sir. Okay, and this is magnetic flux. Magnetic flux. And the induced EMF, which was denoted by epsilon, was minus d phi d phi by t. Okay, d phi by t. Right. So where theta is equal to actually omega t. Yeah. yeah. Theta is equal to omega t. So we can write this one in place of theta. Can we replace it as omega t? Yes. Omega t. Correct. Yes, sir. Okay, where omega is angular velocity. Where omega is angular velocity. Right. Okay. And omega is equal to what? Because frequently we will be using it. That is twice pi f. Twice pi f or twice pi by t. Whereas 1 by t is the frequency. Okay, twice pi by t. Why? Because we will be utilizing these relations. So, so now. twice pi is t as well. Huh? Is twice pi theta. Which one? Twice pi. Twice pi is theta. Yes, angle. Yes, 360 yes, degree. Yes, 360 degree. Okay. So whenever we are finding the, uh, you can say current, that single side of current. So we are finding it between zero, zero. then pi by two, no. pi, and then three pi by two, and then two pi. So with this two pi, actually it is getting completed one cycle. Yes, sir. One cycle is getting completed in this 2 pi. So that's why this 2 pi is there. Yes. Okay. Right. So how we can find an epsilon is equal to, you can say minus. minus. Can we go for differentiation of this one? Okay. So what we are finding out? V, A, A and then D by dt of omega sin omega t. Okay. Yeah. Yes or no? Yes. So for this cos it will be minus also will be there. Yes. So this one will become minus. Yes. So we can say that for induced EMF is VA B A omega, omega sin omega, omega T. Okay? Yes, sir. Right. If there is number of turns, now in that coil, what we have seen in solenoid coil, yes. so what is magnetic field B there? Uh, mu zero. So magnetic field is mu zero. Mu zero. Ni. Ni. Okay? Ni. Mu zero Ni. Whereas this N is number of turns per unit length. Number of turns per unit length. Okay. So what we are finding here. So this. Now this epsilon is equal to. Suppose if you are putting this one. Mu zero Ni. Yes, correct? Yeah. So mu zero Ni A. Omega sine omega T. Yes. Correct? Okay, so now this has become your induced EMF. For a solid line. For your solid line. Okay, so for your solid line. Now, we also studied that induced EMF in terms of inductance. In terms yeah. of self inductance. 
So it is L equal L to minus L Ti by, by dt. This also we studied? Yes sir. Okay. So when we studied this one? Can we write that as E is equal to minus L I? No, no, L D I by D T. Compulsory. L D I by D T. Rate of return. Because here current is varying in that point. We have to show if D T will not be written, it means current is not varying. So current is varying with respect to time. Compulsory. Do that only this into the MF is there. Whenever there is an inductance, this L is self inductance. Okay. If you are comparing between these two. Yeah. If you are going for comparison between these two. So you can write here that. L D I by D T is equal to so this one mu zero N I A omega sine omega T okay so now what you can do here so what this L shows I already it is there okay and omega sine omega T is there so we can say that this L Okay, what this L if you will be going for, or we can say we can go for taking uh, that I here, eh? yes. we can bring that I here, and uh, dt we can take this side, or if you will be multiplying with dt, so what it will be giving to you? It is giving L dI is equal to mu zero n i a omega 